Pope 36, Pope Liberius. We come to our first pope who is not a saint. Uh, his episcopacy lasts from 352 to 366. So to start, uh, Athanasius is, of course, getting exiled left and right again by the Arians. He's still trying to fight them off pretty successfully, arguing against them. But, of course, that's causing a ton of violence all over the empire. So Constantius is breathing down Pope Liberius' neck as he's, as the pope is trying to get everyone to jump on board the Nicene formula determined at the Council of Nicaea in 325. The Nicene formula, of course, being what would eventually become the Nicene Creed that we say in Mass. So at a certain point, uh, Pope Liberius, he's upholding every Orthodox teaching in the book at this point. Uh, but then he gets exiled by Constantius. Constantius then sets up this guy named Pope Felix II as an anti-pope. But Pope Liberius is, of course, brought back to Rome and reinstated by Constantius himself. But unfortunately, somewhere in the middle of all that, he ended up signing an Arian decree rather than the Nicene formula. 